Rioters in Baltimore hurled rocks at police, destroyed patrol cars and looted stores, as demonstrations over the death of a black man in police custody turned violent Monday. Police said 15 officers were injured, and two remain hospitalized Monday evening. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan declared a state of emergency in the city and activated the National Guard to assist city and state police. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake called the rioters thugs and said the city was imposing a 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew starting Tuesday. We are deploying every resource possible to gain control of the situation and ensure peace moving forward, she said. The Baltimore Orioles postponed a scheduled Monday night game with the Chicago White Sox. The violence was taking place about two and a half miles from the Camden Yards baseball stadium that is home to the Orioles. Dozens of people could be seen throwing bricks, rocks and other objects at officers and at patrol cars with officers inside, just hours after funeral services for Freddie Gray. Some demonstrators attacked a stopped police car, leaping on the roof and hood and smashing windows. At least two other police vehicles were set on fire. Police officers moved in and took down several people near the damaged car. But no police could be seen as rioters looted stores including a CVS pharmacy, a check cashing store, a liquor store and a cell phone store.